Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Ron at Scene Grinder, and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about these things called markers and show off one of the cool features you can do with a marker. So really quickly, what a marker is, I'm going to switch over to model mode. When you click on any model in the scene, I'll just click on these houses here, you can see this little blue box pops up. If you click on that, then you can turn it into what's called a marker. And as you can see, markers have templates associated with them, which lets you add functionality to them. Okay, so the piece of marker functionality I'm going to talk about today is fast travel. I'm going to click off of this scene here. All right, so as you can see, what I've got is this is our town called Mills Falls. It's pretty big. It's about a half mile by a half mile. And there's a lot of places to go here. You've got towers on each of the four cardinal points. You've got a temple over here. You've got the Mugs Tavern that we go to all the time, Marketplace, a whole bunch of interesting places to go. And so what we do with our campaign is we've set up travel so that players can very quickly jump from point to point so you don't have to walk your character all the way across the map all the time. And also you can set up markers so you can not only jump from point to point within the current scene, you can set up markers so you can jump to other scenes. So let me go ahead and show you how I set these up. And I'm going to zoom into the marketplace here. So the first thing you'll see is you've got this model here and it's got this little blue bubble above it that indicates that is a marker. And by the way, markers can be either hidden or visible for players. That's up to the GM and you can set that on an individual marker basis. So let me flip to model mode and let me double click on this one. So as you can see on the left hand side, you know, you can put notes in about a marker, but you can also put in travel points. So if I wanted to add a travel location, all I do is click add travel to, and then I click the scene I'm going to. Uh, my current scene here is Mills Falls 2, so it could be that one. Or I could have it going off to another scene. I'll just go ahead and choose the Cemetery in the Woods. And then once you do that, you can select a marker that's in the scene that you're going to. Now in this case, there's only one marker in the cemetery, so it just defaults to that one. And that's all you need to do to create markers for your players to use. So now, let me pause it for just a second. I'm going to flip over to the player view, and you can see how players can use these markers. Okay, so I'm currently logged in as a player playing Artemisia, and as you can see, she is also in Mills Falls too, and she's over here by a tower that has a travel marker in front of it. So I'll double click on it, and as you can see, there's a number of jump points that have been set up for this travel marker, and for the first jump, I'm just going to choose the South Tower, also in Mills Falls too. Okay, and as you can see, she has now jumped to the South Tower, and there's another travel marker right in front of me. So let me show you jumping to another scene. And in this case, I'll take the cemetery in the woods in the cemetery scene. So I'll click Go To. And there you go. Now I'm in the new scene, the cemetery in the woods. And just one final note. As you can see, you can also choose not just signposts, you can choose whatever you want for your travel marker. So in this case, I chose a cool looking obelisk. And that completes this demo of how you can make it easy for your players to jump from location to location within a scene and also jump from scene to scene. Thanks everybody, happy gaming, bye.